Researchers just issued a serious warning about EV fire blankets. I've been talking about this hazard in my class for years, but after witnessing it, I realized I got one critical detail wrong. You found stashed. I'm Pat, firefighter and automotive engineer researching EV batteries since 2018. The Fire Safety Research Institute, FSRI, and the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, just dropped a warning about a potential hazard when using fire blankets on electric vehicle fires. A link to their joint statement is in the description below. If you've been following me for a while, this might not be a huge surprise. Electric vehicle fire blankets are typically made from heat-resistant materials and are designed to smother fires by cutting off oxygen. And while that works great for foams, rubbers, plastics, a battery does not need oxygen from the outside atmosphere to burn, specifically a lithium-ion battery. The goal is to contain the flames, reduce the smoke, and limit the fire spread to nearby vehicles or property, which seems like a great idea, until it's not. While the blanket is on the vehicle, the batteries, the lithium ion batteries, will continue to go into thermal runaway. They release hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and a bunch of other nasty hydrocarbons, basically making an extremely flammable cocktail. And since there's no fire to burn off the gases, they build up to create an explosive mixture. This is a hazard we've known for a while, but we didn't fully understand the severity. Far too often, we see demonstrations and training conducted with fire blankets on regular combustion engine vehicles. At that point, it's a Class A fire, not representative of an electric vehicle in Thermal Runaway. A few weeks ago, FSRI and NFPA conducted fire blanket experiments on actual EVs experiencing Thermal Runaway, and both organizations witnessed a deflagration event. In each case, the deflagration occurred after the temperature of the vehicle had started to decrease and the smoke around the vehicle had dissipated. At that point, firefighters would easily get a false sense of security. They would think the fire was out when it wasn't. And since firefighters are naturally curious, Peeking under the blanket would be their next move. That action can mix flammable gases with oxygen, all while there's still a significant heat source present. You can imagine what happens next. Those flammable gases ignite without warning, creating a serious hazard. This is the biggest detail that I've gotten wrong over the last few years, the severity of the hazard. I expected a slow moving flame front, maybe the blanket lifting off the vehicle, but overall, I didn't think these blankets posed a life safety risk. After seeing the results firsthand, I now believe there is a real risk of serious injury. Now, neither organization is saying fire blankets should never be used, but they are urging departments to rethink how they're used and when they're deployed. Their current stance is that fire blankets may be better suited for after the fire is actually done, not during the active phase of thermal runaway. I've always suggested that covering the exposure vehicles instead of the burning vehicle as an option, but now I believe that's probably a safer choice, especially in situations like parking garages. I'm just finishing up my video on the latest FSRI experiments, so keep an eye on the channel. I'll be diving deeper into the issues and highlighting some of the other hazards related to the gases released from the batteries. But for now, if you're using EV fire blankets in your department, it's time to take a look at your SOPs. Take a look at the advisory and think critically about your tactics. These tools aren't magic. There's no one single tool that works for electric vehicles. They don't stop thermal runway, and if used improperly, they might actually put firefighters at greater risk. I'll continue to follow this topic as more testing and data comes out. Stay smart, stay aggressive, and stay safe.